Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 in our tropical region in the United States modded series. Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a, a few different things to get money moving again. So I'm going to show you that real quick. Uh, we did do some minor changes and well, time goes on. I'm going to repay a loan or two just to make sure I don't lose money in interest. But just a quick little update. I will stop hitting my mic during this episode. I've been having this issue ever since the last series. But thankfully, I got a nice arm stand now. So as you can see that right in the corner. So I'm keeping that out of the shot for obvious reasons. Uh, but an update on our series. So in between sessions, uh, so in between episode one and this episode two, uh, we did add a little drop off point for vehicles to come off and drop off some food. So therefore, we can try to feed into our productivity more at the processing plant. And as of right now, it looks like we are shipping everything that we are producing. And hopefully we are bringing over full loads because that would be very important. We're getting closer. We're not there, but we're getting closer. Oh yeah, and just another little small update is that I added in another bus station for this main line here. Just so we earn a little bit more money. We have it so there's a stop in the middle going up and down just so it is a little bit more simplistic. So we did that. But the question is where do we go from here? I know I don't have the money right now, but if we look at our finances, we are earning, well we'll look at the last term. We did make some investments, however we are making more money than we are losing, which is most important. So we at least know that we're doing something right. And under our lines, it looks like if we look under our balances, two lines are not making us money. The Arlington Grain Line, which I just made for our processing factory over here, should catch up here in a moment. It is moving very slowly for some reason, I'm not quite sure why. But if we look at this, the only line that's not making us money is the pedestrian line. So we have to figure out how to turn the tables on that and get more people moving. And it looks like we could add another vehicle to this line. I'm going to say yes. So that will actually help us in that regard. Um, once I pull out a loan. So while I find something for us to do, I do want to mention one thing, and that is, if you have a suggestion on what to call this island, please let me know, because this island needs a name and so does a series. And I don't want to just call it the Tropical Region in the United States modded series. I just want to call it something simple. So that would make life a lot easier. Okay, so I found a project. I think I found a project anyhow. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually get Salt Lake City growing. It's on an island, and it's a little bit further away from Arlington and Shusie City. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cargo to our advantage right now since people are a little slow moving right now. I guess that's the best way to say it because that's more of an investment more than anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a boat dock down in here. And what I'll do is I'll add it in right here so it connects up with our our oil refinery there and we'll have a pickup spot here to bring over fuel and everything can get reached over with a boat so that's what we're just gonna do simple as that so let's take out some loans and let's do that real quick okay so here we go we have the boat coming out now right here this has a capacity of 90 and what's gonna happen is we're gonna have this boat actually drop off it's going to its drop-off point but it's gonna pick up over here at the crude oil and it's gonna transport everything down here to our oil refinery. Then after that, it's gonna come over here to our fuel refinery, and then it's just gonna come over back here to drop off and bring it into Salt Lake City. Now it has two docks because we'll have a drop off and we'll have a pickup. So that's kinda like the whole purpose of it. That's why the dock is laid up this way. Okay, so we're dropping off 15 people over here at Shusey City from Arlington, and we're about to pick up like almost 40 people which will actually make us a decent amount of money finally so there we go 38 that's a good number we are transporting people here just fine I think we're doing fine on that regard come over here at Arlington are we picking up all the people we can are we making money uh, we are making money okay cool but not a whole lot of people that want to go down to Shusey City we are bringing food over there that's one of the big draws for that place I don't know how else we can get people moving to make them more happy because a lot of this is just an investment and the problem with that is you have to spend a lot of money in order to make money uh, unless if it's cargo because cargo you can usually get away with it for the most part oh no what is going on over here don't build a road right there 
Ridiculous. Get that out of here. I don't need that in here. That's going to cause so many issues. Oh, and then you just rebuild the road anyway. Alright, that's fine. As long as we can get in this road and not have anyone build there. Alright, I'm looking at another opportunity for us. I have no idea what's wrong with this city overall. Like... Okay, um, really, Long Beach having an issue and you don't even have a beach. Kind of defies your name a little bit in, a, in the wrong way. Uh, you're having a messy situation. But what I'm looking at is we actually have quite a few places over here that we can use to our advantage. These industries, I wish I could just like delete them or something. Because they're like in the worst spots ever. But it will bring forth challenges. So we'll just leave it as is. Long Beach, we could actually take a train station and have you go over to Arlington and Shoesy City from here. And we have a direct line from Arlington to Shoesy City via train. So therefore, there's no like connecting stops and overall there's just a lot more mobility for people if they wish. Uh, so we could do that. That's another thing to look at in the future. Okay, so I just let time run by a little bit and now we're making like millions of dollars so that's really cool we're gonna repay some loans for the time being i want to check up on our lines let's see what our lines are up to every line is making a profit that is fantastic i actually didn't think that was going to happen right away so yeah that's working out really well so every line's making a profit i want to make sure we keep an eye on salt lake city here because i want to bring them some more cargo as well Actually, you may need a boat dock for a pedestrian as well and go to Patterson and Arlington and Pomona. Ooh, interesting things we can do with you. Okay, so you can do that, but in order for this to make a profit from oil to our fuel, we actually probably need two boats from here to there in order to do that. And the main reason why I say that is because it takes two crude oil to make every oil, as you can see right here. Yeah, I guess they call it a rule. Okay, that's the rule. <laughs> and then we can build a boat dock over here. But let's pull out another loan and let's get another boat going over here. And we're just gonna use the same one for simplicity's sake and get that moving. Okay, so I have some fantastic news. Finally, we got it going to where our food production is exceeding the train's capacity. So we can actually manage the vehicle and we can add in another box car so we can actually produce more. And that's fantastic news. We just have to wait until we get more money, obviously, because that's a struggle right now. So add one more on, it's gonna cost us half a million. So we're gonna do that right now, just for simplicity's sake. That is moving a lot more smoothly now. How is our pedestrian line doing? Ugh, it's trying. We're trying to get it moving. What if I extend our pedestrian line? Is it time for that type of project, or is it not? Okay, I think it's time to extend our pedestrian line. So we actually make more money off of it. Now, if we take a look at our situation over here in Memphis, which is not too far away from Arlington, we can actually build a train station right through here and not disturb our residential area. Now, if I were to do this, I would already have to predict for the next few cities that we're going to service to, which includes, holy crap, there's two Memphises. Um, can we change the name of this one? Yes, we can. All right. Jacksonville. There we go. So we can get two train lines, one to Arlington, one to Pomona one to Memphis, and technically one to Columbus, so we could do four, or we just have two tracks. That would work probably best right there. Just place you right there. We're gonna do a small speed build, how about that? So, we're gonna connect this up real quick. It's probably gonna take like 10 seconds, but let's go for it. I'll be right back. All right, so that was a quick speed build. So welcome over here in Jacksonville. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a Jacksonville red line, which has a total of four stops total. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna, let's give this some color, why don't we? Oh, I don't like that shade of red. We'll just give it like a neutral shade of red. I mean, like it doesn't match up with the color line because it's a little lighter color, but it's whatever. What's gonna happen here is we're gonna have a line here where we have bus pickup, that brings us over here to our train station. And what will happen is train comes through here, 
all the way down here over into Arlington. Quick, easy place. If people need to connect to get down to Choosy City, they can do so. Very easy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually buy a vehicle. We could do the Atlantic, but we're not. And we're going to do the Mogul with probably three carts, which is a total of 3.7 million, just about. So let's borrow some money. Another $3.7 million. $3.7 million locomotive. Once again, being spent. And let's zoom out so we can register it. Jacksonville, Arlington. Perfect. Let's get you going. I'm pretty sure our capacity for how many loans we can take out is 25 million. Am I trying to reach that? No. But I'm also trying to get some money moving as quickly as possible. Alright, as time flies by, Jacksonville is growing pretty quickly, so we're actually going to give it another vehicle. Hopefully we can color coordinate it the same as I did before. I think I did the right one. Add another vehicle. Right now we're not making much money because this line is, quite frankly, pulling us down a little bit. Just because it's all investment, you have to spend a bunch of money until you can earn it. Which kind of sucks when it comes to pedestrian lines, but that's where we're at. And it looks like we have an overpile of food that needs to be delivered in Shoozy City. So let's go ahead and grab another vehicle for that. So we can deliver more food efficiently. How is our city growth here? Our city growth is at 60% on food, overall 100%. Okay, that's not too, too bad. I like that. A lot of people using private transportation and public transportation. Public could be upgraded a little bit more. Are we going to worry about that right now? No. <laughs> that's the answer. Uh, we actually do have enough money now, so we're actually going to come back over here and put on our boat dock. I just figured that we'll just put it right here, and we'll grab one of these boats again. And we're going to use it for... Ooh, I forgot. I didn't set up a line. Let's, let me do that real quick. All right, there we go. Salt Lake City Oil. And now we have another boat. Look at how many boats we have here. Three boats all in one area. And then it'll just take a moment for it to all figure itself out because that's how it works. Uh-oh, boat collision. All right, well, that's not safe. You guys should probably not do that next time. That was really dangerous. Jacksonville, oh, Jacksonville. You're going to be the next problem on my list. Come on. Uh, we got to add another vehicle for it. I mean, like, it's good that at least some place is making us money because Jacksonville Red Line is going to be doing that, but it's also taken away for our current money situation. Which I do not like as much. Looks like Arlington may need an upgrade on its bus line. Now Arlington does have a weird shape and I'm not quite the fan of it. But all we have is one simple loop. We could have a loop going the other way and see how that does. Or we could have two separate lines that go just straight up and down, down here, and we have a little bus terminal. But I'm not going to stress that out right now. Okay, what just happened? Excuse me. I did not ask for this. But I kind of did. Okay, so I gotta handle the situation now. So we have how many buses on this line? Because all of a sudden people want to use the bus line. So we have two. We probably need to add another two. Is it a green line? It is a green line. They're already default by green. So now we have four total vehicles for this line. So now the city is going to be growing pretty quickly. And since now it's just a waiting game for everything to really happen, I've been doing a lot of micromanaging this episode. Before we end it, I just want to go over a few things. I want to look at the overall street traffic just to see if there's any issues anywhere already because this early in the game in 1907 I have not had this many vehicles driving around especially from city to city so it looks like we're all good on the traffic lights area looks like we already have a pretty big issue with our emissions just from a bunch of personal vehicles for the most part can't really change that too much but let's look where all the transportation is there's a lot of people that like to move around in between Shoozy City and Arlington. I hope that they use the train line more. I really do. But then people also seem like they want to go all the way up to Jacksonville. So just a quick look at our main city because Shoozy City is our main city. Where are people moving in between from Patterson, Tucson. So a little bit of people from Patterson, a little bit from Tucson, people from Long Beach, and one person from Arlington. So just the fact that there's only one person moving in between from Arlington is a good thing but for now i think that is it so i thank you guys for watching this episode please leave me any suggestions if you have any ideas of what i should be doing next on the series next time we will finish up this oil line i promise it's gonna happen but as of right now 
we're kind of out of time for the time being. But please don't forget to subscribe if you are new, and please like this video as it does help support out the channel. Other than that, I shall see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching once again. See you next time.